Hey guys, this circuit is a square to sine wave converter circuit. So input into the circuit is a square wave. I'm using a function generated to create a square wave. You can see right here that it's set to square wave. And then in the output, we get a sine wave signal, which is seen right here. So this circuit is a three pole RC circuit. It's composed of three RC networks. So it's called the three pole circuit. And input into here, we have a square wave. And then the output, we have a sine wave. Right now, the oscilloscope is at the, at, right here, at the output. So you see a sine wave at the, on the oscilloscope. But I'm going to trace it back so that you can see the input. So this right here is the circuit. I'm going to put it at the input so you can see the sine wave that we get. I'll zero it in so you can see closer. And this is what we have at the input. Now I'm going to move it step by step so you see the progression. So right now we're here, a sine wave which you see and then I'm going to put the oscilloscope next here so you can see how the waveform looks at that point. So this is the next part. This is after the first RC network. This is the progression from the square wave to this wave. So this again is, is here. Next I'm going to move here. We're going to see the progression again of another RC network. And this is what we get. I'll adjust it so it can be better seen. And here we have a triangle waveform or a waveform that very closely resembles a triangle. And this is at this point after two RC networks. And then finally, what I was showing you before, the last one is this. And I'll adjust it a little. And this waveform um, very closely resembles a sine waveform. So all it took was a three pole RC network to get from a square wave input to a sine wave output. And for this um, circuit, I'm using a 1.5 K ohm resistor and a 10 nanofarad capacitor for each, each, for each of them. All the resistors and capacitor values are the same. And for the input signal, I have a 10 kilohertz input signal. The frequency matters because depending on what frequency the input signal is, determines the values that you have to use for your resistor and capacitors. So again, this is a square wave to sine wave converter circuit. To see the schematic of the circuit, as well as in a more in detail explanation of how it works, please click the link below and thanks for watching.